Hey everyone. Well, I'm doing some painting as I do most evenings, and I was in here in the bedroom working and I noticed this TV in the closet, so I thought I'd make a little video about this. This is a Gold Star TV that we bought new back probably, I think it's an 85. I'll go back behind and see if there's a date on it. But I think it is an 80, like an 85 model. And we've had it all this time. Of course, don't use it anymore. I don't watch much TV, but we've got that one. That's a 2005. As you can see, that's a probably one of the getting to be the last of the CRT TVs. But this one, I remember when we bought this TV. I was about 14, 13 or 14, and. Uh, we bought it at a place down here called Handy TV and Appliance, and I don't know if there's any of those anywhere else besides around here. At the place, the business is still there. It moved, but it does exist. And at the time, we had a t the TV that we had was one that was about probably at that time was about 12 or 13 years old, and we used to have of the old TV. We used to have two of those, and I, I don't know what happened to them. I think it just finally one went out and then the other years later went out so we had to have a TV and I remember that we bought this TV and a VCR a gold star VCR at the same time that was just a new thing then you know and um, the TV cost $249 and the VCR also cost $249 so we were $500 plus tax on our entertainment package there and this is a uh, this is a 19 inch TV and for as old as it is it's still in pretty good shape um, of course it's got the channel good old channel selector how many how long has it been since you heard this noise put it on channel 13 so we can get the news there and uh, got, there's not many controls to this TV. Um, sorry for the lousy camera ship, camera main ship here, camera work, whatever, because I'm got the bed right beside me. But it's got a button here that says auto color. I think that just kind of made everything more saturated. And it's got. Uh, pull on volume and I think the yeah the uh, picture controls are under here little thumb wheels so now I don't know I think Gold Star probably produced their own items back then that Gold Star now is LG uh, it's called Lucky Gold Star don't ask me why that's called that, but it is. Let's see if we can see some information on the back of this. You're getting a sneak peek at my rehab work here. I'll tell you what, I'm, every time I start having to paint in a house, I just unbelievable how much work it actually is. Okay. Yep, there's our date right there, July of 1985. That's right. This is a chassis number, well, model number CMR2030. Uh, NT, chassis number NT01X. Gold Star of America Incorporated, 201 James Record Road, Huntsville, Alabama. That's just Huntsville's about 30 miles from here. I know where this is. So it was made here locally. Still a little dusty from storage but um, you can see up here is any older TV it only had the coax connection here and what's that say 75 ohm is that the ohm symbol a little I can't remember anymore I think it is looks like a headphone then up here you had four connections you had two for UHF and two for VHF and this is a 
you, could, you had an antenna that came with it, like a rabbit's ear type of thing. You, this is what held it. It's right back here on the back. So, this thing has not been turned on probably in, shoot, five or six years. So, I'm going to plug this thing in and let it run a little bit. See how the picture looks like. Oh man. Get my paint can out of the way. I'm waiting to put another coat of paint on my door and my window sills there. And you know how boring watching paint dry is. So alright. If you're wondering what that is, that's a telephone jack. Alright, plug is in. Here we go. Let's see if I can reach. There it is. Now this black line thing you see in the camera that that's just because it's recording a TV. That's not there. The screen is totally like this. Got some dirt in my volume control. Can somebody tell me why this is? When you make a recording of a television screen, why do these black lines go up and down like that? Because when I'm looking at this off the camera, uh, it's just a white screen. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> I'll tell you, as soon as this black line gets out of the way here, it reminds me of this. They're here. <laughs> no, honey, they're not here. We just don't have Dish Network or whatever that is. Direct TV. <laughs> I know it's not going to pick anything up, probably, but just for the heck of it. Oh, we got something. Surprised I remember how to do that. Back when I was younger, I used to watch a lot of TV, and I this thing got a lot of miles on it. Oh, the thing's off there. All right. This channel's now signing off. This ends and concludes your broadcast day. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little cold start of the Gold Star TV. And uh, talk to you soon.